support it. So thank you all so much for uh, getting up this morning to come see us. We're really uh, thankful that the season's getting ready to kick off. And um, it's been a lot of fun following all your stories and reports from the other teams uh, through social media and, and on the news itself. Um, had some really solid meetings uh, this week and over the last couple of weeks with NASCAR about their direction. And um, we really look forward to, to hearing the story this afternoon about uh, the direction of, of the, the chase and the sport for 2014. Um, all of our guys really embraced the new qualifying format. Um, as a TV guy, it meant a lot to me too because that, that'll, be, that'll be some really good TV. So um, we'll watch these cats try to figure out how to win polls. Boyer, historically, I don't know if y'all know him real well or not, but um, running 210 miles an hour by himself just doesn't quite get him there. He needs some traffic, and um, I don't think you got a pole last year, did you? I think it's. I think I have one in my career, so. I'm not even a really good driver, and I got more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one time when you said that? <laughs> so uh, anyway, we think with other cars on the. We think with other cars on the track, he'll be able to focus and, and get poles. So uh, we're looking forward to that, and we're also um, um, certainly looking forward to the 2014 season. Um, Michael Waltrip Racing is ready to go in 2014. Um, I don't think we've ever been as prepared for a season as we are this year. And uh, you know that includes in 2012 when uh, Clint showed up and we finished second in the championship. We are very versatile. We're very lean. We're doing a lot of testing. In fact, the reason why our fourth driver, um, third driver, isn't here, Jeff Burton, is he's in Nashville, Tennessee today, where it was nine when he woke up. And um, he's going to be running laps in one of our cars over there, both yesterday and today. And when I talk about versatility and being lean, um, those, those two terms a little bit contradict. But the versatility is the things we're able to do um, at the same time. For example, during the Daytona test, Clint and I were at the big track making laps, and Burton was over at New Smyrna making laps on our short track stuff. The rule changes with the no ride height rule um, are challenging the engineers and the teams with coming up with some new ways to set the cars up. So you need to know how to do it both at an intermediate track like Nashville and a short track like New Smyrna. So our wheels are spinning, and we're trying to, uh, trying to learn all we can so we can have the best chance to go to Phoenix and win our first race of the season. Winning early is going to be very important to our organization. And in fact, um, so much that Rob has challenged everybody to focus all of our testing resources in the first third of the year. Let's go, let's test. And we've been on the road quite a bit doing just that. Burton has been a huge asset to MWR in the short time that he's been there. Um, he brings quality information from the car to the team. He, um, it's information that Vickers and both um, Clint know that they can lean on and rely on. And um, he also is a motivator. He gets up in the morning and goes testing and is there from the, from the first time the track opens to the end, and he's all in. And um, that kind of spirit and that kind of energy has, uh, has breathed more life into our organization. When Mark Martin showed up in 2012, he sort of did the same thing, Clint as well. And Jeff has been able to um, add more energy and put us in a good place. As far as uh, our buddy, Mr. Vickers, I'm really proud that he's sitting there, all in his suit, ready to go. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's ready to, to start testing um, next week. And so it's, it's really great to have Brian back. And um, it's really been fun to see um, the focus that Clint has brought to the test that he's participated in as well, um, historically. Did you hear that? Focus. One of our favorite terms. So his focus is, uh, has, has really, um, I think, been as good as it's ever been as we get ready to race into 2014. Um, we have some um, sponsorship news that I would like to share with you guys. And um, we're really proud of a couple of new partners and a couple of uh, partners that have been around for, for a couple of years that are um, expanding their involvement with Michael Walter Racing. Um, obviously, Aaron's stepped up and is going to be the primary sponsor in all 38 weekends for Vickers' car. 
and um, the Aaron's Dream Machine will race every weekend. And um, that's really a pretty, pretty cool story considering that um, we started in 1999 with six races, um, six nationwide races uh, for me that I drove in a car that we built in my backyard. And um, Aaron's believes in NASCAR so much and they believe in Michael Waltrip so much, Michael Waltrip Racing so much that they've expanded that um, to, in 2014, primaries uh, for all the races in a multi-year agreement with that company. So we're thankful for Aaron's, thankful for their love for the sport and believe in the marketing tool that NASCAR is. Peak, they joined us in 2013 and they're, they um, are expanding to three primaries on Clint's car in 2014. So um, Peak has been a great partner, not only as sponsor of their race, of Clint's race car, but they're going to be my sponsor in the Blue Def Peak Toyota in the Daytona 500. And so um, I, I'm really proud that I have a sponsor that I'm going to Daytona with, and um, I'll be driving the number 66 Toyota with uh, Peak. Brian, thank you so much for, for all you do for our company and your belief in us. And um, also for the Stock Car Dream Challenge. Last year, I don't know how many of you saw it, but we had a really fun time um, whittling some 700 entries down to the eventual winner, Patrick Star Poli, um, who won this Peak Stock Car Dream Challenge. And we went out on the West Coast and raced a couple of K&N races together. And um, he's gonna continue to race for Peak in 2014. He's gonna run the K&N East this year. So Patrick's a, a really bright young man and very energetic and a lot of fun to see someone that just uh, wrote in on the internet that he wanted to be a race car driver and now he's getting a chance to be a real race car driver. So uh, hats off to you for your innovative idea of um, the, the Peak Stock Car Dream Challenge. AAA, they've been an associate sponsor of ours for four years and in 2014 they're going to be a primary sponsor on Clint's car in two races. So we have AAA and, and Peak and Five Hour Energy on that car along with Charter Cable. They're going to sponsor Clint in the all-star race and be an associate sponsor on his car all year long. Um, also, um, an associate deal um, for Clint from um, a company called Kansas Strong. And uh, Kansas Strong is um, focused on promoting the role that oil and gas play in, in, the, in, the, Texas, um, in the state of Texas. So, um, or excuse me, in the state of Kansas. Wouldn't make much sense if they did Texas, would they? Well, I, I got to make sure y'all are listening. Um, so that's sort of the business of Michael Waltrip Racing and where we are sponsorship-wise. Obviously, Five Iron Energy is, uh, is Clint's primary sponsor and really proud that uh, they enabled us to, to land Mr. Boyer over to Michael Waltrip Racing. And we're, uh, we're focused on 2014 and um, really energetic to get going. So um, thank you. I would like to uh, let my partner, Rob, this is where I usually screw up. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Sounds good. Let, let my partner Rob tell you about uh, his world. I'll, I'll be shorter. <laughs> oh, I am shorter. <coughs> um, pretty, pretty sure we've had a pretty busy uh, four or five months at Michael Walter Racing. I guess every team in the off season uh, tends to do that, but we had an especially busy one um, you know, after we reorganized uh, in 2013. Um, my priority, and I think everyone in the shop and in the company now, is, is just focused on performance. It's actually pretty simple. Um, what we want to do is win races and compete for, and ultimately win the championship. It's, it's not much more complicated than that. Of course, doing it is pretty hard. Um, we reorganized from three full-time cars down to two. Um, we reorganized the staffing. We have about uh, 220 full-time people in the company now. That's about down about 15%. But just to keep your perspective on things, our engineering budget year on year is up 15%, um, which is really just a, a reflection of how much emphasis we're putting on the actual product of racing. And uh, I think ultimately this is a, a per performance-based business, and if you perform, you'll succeed, and uh, it's, it's pretty simple after that. Um, so that's the metal stuff. You know, the guys are working very hard on that. We, what we did with uh, the 66 car um, is we turned it into a uh, kind of a full-time testing team with uh, Jeff Burton, having him involved with the team has been terrific. Um, I'm very proud that uh, we were able to attract somebody that caliber into our organization uh, fresh. It was kind of like when we brought in Clint. Um, it's a nice energy boost into the company. And, uh, and it's really good to see Brian back here uh, fit, fit and ready and uh, is fitter than ever. So uh, the, uh, 
you have the metal stuff covered on one side and uh, and the flesh and blood stuff on the other. I think we have a pretty good uh, pretty good turnout. Um, and uh, we've had great support from all of our partners. The Toyota folks have been terrific. Um, all of our existing folks. So I think now uh, now we're working on growing uh, growing the family, so to speak, with uh, a little more uh, sponsorship. So thank you very much. Yeah, the, um, the, the Toyota relationship is the reason why there is a Michael Waltrip Racing. Back in um, 2005 or so, they came to me and said they wanted, me, wanted uh, us to be one of their owners um, in Cup. And um, I'm really proud that we started with them in the beginning, and we've been able to win races with them, and, and we're still with them today. And uh, could it, couldn't be where we are without our friends from Toyota. And um, I think they make NASCAR a, a more fun place to for the fans to tune in and race. I believe their presence uh, in the garage area is helping to uh, continue the diversification of the fan base, and um, they spend a lot of money to, to, to promote our sport. So um, not only thankful for the Toyota cameras that, Camrys that we get to race on the track, but also their support of our sport in general. Mr. Boyer, you've had a good off season. Everything good? Yeah. Um, you know, you said preparation. I think uh, that's the key. Um, I, I think. I, I believe that we're as prepared as we've ever been um, since I've been at MWR for a race season. Um, you know, we've tested a lot. We've put in, um, you know, the, the work and the effort. When I go to the shop uh, yesterday, you know, the guys are they're ready. You know, they're poised and, and, and ready to go um, to battle. And, and I think, you know, that says a lot about, um, you know, reorganizing, reorganizing, but doing it in the right way. Um, you know, first and foremost, it's it's you know, nice to be in a position as a race car driver to, to have, you know, owners that, um, that put the funding that it takes to run at this level in the right places. Engineering, just like he said, uh, you know, we put more emphasis on engineering. Everybody knows that's what it takes uh, to make these cars go faster around that racetrack. And, and uh, it's amazing, you know, when we go testing, uh, the amount of, of uh, you know, quality, smart people that are working on them race cars is, is uh, pretty comforting as a race car driver, knowing those guys are, are fixing to make you shine. So, um, you know, going back to uh, to the sponsorship uh, in today's day and age, it's it's pretty pretty good times, pretty exciting times to be able to announce people stepping up. Um, you know, this is a, a great marketing platform for these sponsors. It always has been, and it always will be. Uh, got a lot of exciting things for our sport coming down the pike. Uh, whether you like it or, or or don't like it, everybody can agree that it's going to be exciting. Um, might not play in, in your favor this time around, but it, it damn sure might, uh, you know, in, in, in years to come. So just proud of our efforts, um, proud of our, our, our family behind us. Uh, it's been a great off season, but I'm ready. It always hits you at a certain point, you know, every off season, and I'm tired of this cold. I'm ready to get my ass to Florida. Yeah, we were, we were pretty blessed last year. We got to go to Florida and race the 24-hour race. So about this time, you know, when you really want to get in the car, we had a car to drive around all night. Uh, thanks to Rob, we got oh, to run that race. Maybe next year we'll take a whack at it again. <laughs> and so that, that sort of gets you up and, and ready for the season. So we're real, real fortunate to get to do that. Another thing I wanted to say to you guys, um, anybody that wants to come up to the shop, I don't know how many of you have been to MWR, but if you want to come up and take a tour, uh, I'd be glad and happy to show you around. It's really neat to, to, there's people that live in my town of Cornelius that I golf with or I see at breakfast that say, um, what do y'all do over there? And, um, they, and I say, well, there's 220 some people that are working there. What, what for? They don't realize the magnitude of what a race shop is. I mean, we literally take an idea in someone's brain, um, draw it on a piece of paper, figure it out on the computer, hand a blueprint to the machine shop, they whack it out and they put it on the car. I mean, we make that crap. And so it's, <laughs> when I first started racing, we went to the store and bought everything and put it together and now we make it all. And so please uh, hit me up and um, I'll give you a tour and show you how we make it all. It's really, really interesting. It takes 17 machines that, um, that we bought that you know, I didn't really know we were gonna have to buy those when I started. They said, do you want a team? I said, hell yeah. Okay, go. And then we went. And then we're getting ready to stop. And then Rob showed up. <laughs> so we're able to keep going. So I'm really thankful for, really thankful for Rob. Uh, Brian, um, I know there's been a lot going on in your life lately. You want to just bring us up to speed briefly? Uh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, I want to second everything these guys have said and, um, you know, how excited I am to be back and thankful to be a part of uh, such a great team. 
all the effort that's gone into the off season and and uh, you know what they've been able to accomplish so far. I think we've got a great start on the season. Uh, for me, um, I'm cleared. I'm ready to go. I'm off blood thinners, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to get back in a car. I've never been more excited to get back in a race car in my life, and thankful to have great partners like Toyota and like Aaron's to come on and support this team, and and really excited about what I think we can accomplish this year. Um, you know, I think this uh, some of the things that are going to come out are are, are going to work out great for this team and what we can accomplish. And um, yeah, I've just I've just never been. I've never, never been more ready in my life to get back in a race car. And um, I was thankful to have a little bit of time off as well um, in January, take my wife on a honeymoon, and that was fantastic. So really looking forward to it and uh, uh, just couldn't be more excited. Um, we've seen some pretty cool Aaron's commercials over the years. Are, you, are we going to make some more fun Aaron's commercials? Yes, we are. They're coming out soon. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure the exact details of the Aaron's commercial yet. Right. Do you, do you know them? Well, last time Mark's a little bitty tight, mm -hmm. you know, buttoned up guy, and I'm kind of sloppy, and we made fun of me, and uh, you, you appear to be a kind of a <laughs> tight little buttoned up guy, <laughs> so, well, and I'm still sloppy, so uh, I guess it might continue. It could continue, yeah. I, I, I don't see you being the button up guy. No, I'm not that guy. Yeah. Clint and I made a five-hour energy commercial as well, so um, we will have some commercials on TV, and uh, Five hour. There. It was actually a focus commercial, which is hilarious with he and I in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not mental, necessarily mental acuity. what we're known for, if you know what I mean. We're having a meeting, and I look up, and he's over there with a ballpoint pen clicking it in his ear going, <laughs> Clint, focus. Huh? So we didn't bring it to show you, but I just kind of told you about it. So, um, so uh, that's the MWR story. And... Um, we're going to just go straight to one-on-ones wherever you do that at.